Hello and welcome to another super speedy summary. This is your host, Dr. Joshua Goldenberg. Today I'm going to be doing the super speedy version of what Dr. Day has just done for the basic version, so check that out after this video. This is a really cool study on using diosmin and hesperidin, which are natural products uh, for hemorrhoids. They're commonly used. So this was a study that he found, uh, published a few years ago, but it was the only one he was able to identify that compared this commonly used natural product to an active control, which is very important to give us a good sense of how this will fare uh, in real life, in practice. So the issue, of course, is that hemorrhoids are extremely common. They're an issue for many, many people. And there are surgical options available, such as rubber band ligation. But people would prefer if they could take an oral pill to take care of it. Uh, and many people have a value system where they would prefer natural products if possible. So the question is, is diosmin, which is a very commonly used natural product, is it useful and effective uh, for hemorrhoids when compared to well-known interventions that are successful like rubber band ligation. And what this study found, this was a high-risk trial, uh, high-risk bias study, mostly based on blinding as well as some other issues. And for more on that, watch the full-length video. But it showed that diosmin performed comparably, perhaps even superiorly in the short term within the one-week time frame to rubber band ligation for hemorrhoids. Overall, it does appear from this study that oral Diosamine does seem to be a reasonable approach for the treatment of low-grade hemorrhoids. Don't forget to check out the full-length video. Until next time, this is Dr. Joshua Goldenberg signing off.